Here's problem 2310. If A is equal to 60 centimeters, B is equal to 80 centimeters, big Q is minus 4 nanocoulombs, and little Q is 1.5 nanocoulombs, what is the magnitude of the electric field at point P shown? Well, we want to approach this in the same way that we did with the uh, forces. We want to look at each contribution to the electric field from each um, charge first, and then superimpose that result together in a vectoral sum. So let's take a look at uh, the situation. We have Q over here equal to minus 4 nanocoulombs. We have little Q over here equal to 1.5 nanocoulombs. So uh, big Q is a negative charge and little Q is a positive charge. So if we have a positive charge we are going to emanate away from that positive charge and at point P then we'll have a field let's call this E2 going up like this and then of course E1 is going to be going into the negative charge like this. So we'll have two fields at point P going in those directions. Let's find the magnitude of those fields uh, next. So if we're looking at uh, field E1, the magnitude of that field is going to be equal to K big Q over R squared which would be 9 times 10 to the 9 times 4 nanocoulombs. I left the minus sign out because I already got the direction with my vector. And we are a distance little b away, which is 0.8 meters away squared. So we calculate this, realizing that um, the 10 to the 9 and 10 to the minus 9 cancel out. This is actually uh, 36 divided by 0.8 squared and that is 56.25 so we'll say 56.3 newtons per coulomb. If I look at E2 <clears throat> the magnitude of that field is K little q over R squared 9 times 10 to the 9 we have 1.5 nanocoulombs and the distance between Q and that point is A which is 0.6 meters squared. And again the 10 to the 9 and the 10 to the minus 9 will cancel out and we'll have 14.5 uh, no 13.5 over 0.6 squared and what is that? thirty-seven point five newtons per coulomb alright so we have these two vectors and it's looking something like this where E1 is 56.3 newtons per coulomb in the negative x direction and E2 is 37.5 newtons per coulomb in the positive y direction. So if we wrote this as a combined field E1 plus E2 it actually would be a negative 56.3i plus 37.5 J. If we want the magnitude of this field, we would square the components, add them together, take the square root. So a negative 56.3 squared plus 37.5 squared. Negative is not going to matter when we square it, it's going to be squared out. And what does that give us? sixty-seven point six newtons per coulomb. So that is the magnitude of the field that exists at point P and it's going off in a direction like this or as I'd write it on this chart like that. I guess that angle would be 
inverse tangent of the y over the x, <clears throat> inverse tangent of 37.5 over 56.3, And that'd be 33.7 degrees north of of west. And that would be the angle right here. 33.7 north of west. So that is our our answer for problem number 10. <laughs>